is this game? Seriously, I'm just dunking a baby into a bucket of ink. Go on yellow when I'm most definitely on green. Whoa! The baby just really came out like a rocket. Welcoming a baby into the world is a big deal. Trust me, I know. I did it a long time ago, actually. If you didn't know about my baby, you can check out my link in the description and you can find out more. Because I know how hard it is to have a baby, I thought I would play this game. Welcome baby 3D. From pregnancy to teens. That's literally all of the information it gives and the screenshots are just confusing. This game has over 10 million downloads, so it has to be good, right? No, we know that's not true. I'm very excited to play this. Let's get into it. Oh my goodness, this woman is heavily pregnant. She's about to have a baby. Take off the t-shirt. It's time to do an ultrasound. Level completed. All I did was lift up a little bit of her shirt. This game is easy. <gasps> We're on level two. Put gel on belly. Love the grammar. Okay, I am putting the gel on the belly. Ooh, I can make my own design. How fun. I made a mess of that gel. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, next level. What do I have to do? Apply more gel? Really? Oh, I'm rubbing it in now. Gross. Let mom see the ultrasound. Ooh, we get to see the baby. I wonder what it looks like. Okay, I remember doing this. The gel was very cold but it was the most exciting moment, I think, of my life. Let mom see the ultrasound. Oh my goodness, the baby is gray and has a pacifier already. I don't know how it got in there. Lady, that's not normal. All right, I just have to go over all of the gel I applied earlier and that should be the end of this level. Woo, I did it. I let mom see the baby. What is the baby's gender? Remember the pacifier color. Oh, the baby had a blue pacifier. So I'm guessing a baby boy, but also any gender can like the color blue. So welcome baby 3D, get with the times. Let's go with blue. I was right, it was a boy. Why am I surrounded by boys? Baby needs some music at the doctor's, but why? Isn't this something that you do at home in your spare time? Not something that a doctor does to you at the hospital. I don't know why the baby needs music right now, but we're gonna do it. The game has spoken. Baby needs some music. All right, let's grab the headphones and put them on the belly. Oh, beautiful. Such beautiful music. Can I just say the levels for this game are extremely strange and short. Like, really short. Check the blood pressure. I don't want to. Oh no. I hate this part of the doctors. Am I doing it right? Oh, I don't think I should go into the red. I don't actually know what I'm doing. Maybe I do go into the red. I failed the level, see? I'm not a trained medical professional. I have no idea what I'm doing with a pregnant woman right now. How do I check the blood pressure? I guess I just squeeze this and land it in the green. Maybe I just keep it in the green for as long as possible. Oh my gosh, I did it. Catch me at the local hospital next week. I'm gonna be a trained doctor after playing this. Measure the belly. We're really doing everything with the belly. Where is the, when do we get to the part with the baby? I'm going to measure your belly. Just hold still while I pop out my measuring tape. Oh yes, that is a very big belly. There we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was measuring it right, but it wouldn't let me continue. Oh my gosh, she's giving birth, everyone. It's happening. So we have to tap on green so that she can give birth. Let's try and do it. Okay, there we go. Push, push. Why is it making me go on yellow when I'm most definitely on green? Whoa. The baby came flying out. Now I swear to you, that is not what happens. The baby just really came out like a rocket. Oh my goodness, the baby is so cute. But we have to measure how tall the baby is. So once again, I'm pulling out my trusty measuring tape. 49 centimeters, RCM. I don't know what that means. How tall are you? Just tell me. 63 centimeters, oh. What I was doing there was I was measuring the baby head to torso and, you know, completely missing out the fact that the baby has legs. Name the baby. Oh my goodness, we get to choose a name for our baby. 
We have the option of Lucas, Harper, or Crash. Not gonna lie, I kinda like the name Crash. Never heard that before, so let's go with it. Get the baby's footprint. Ooh, fun! So, how do I do this? Do I grab the baby? Oh, I literally pick up the baby. Now I'm gonna just dunk the baby into the ink. <laughs> what is this game? Seriously, I'm just dunking a baby into a bucket of ink. I'm gonna give the baby a bit of a shake off. I think there's a bit too much ink. And now I'm going to place the baby on the paper. Cute! Why did that not work? Do I, should I do it again? <laughs> yeah, I have to re-dip the baby each time. Duh, did you not know you have to re-dip the baby each time? Use milk and formula. Okay, so when I had a baby, you just used one or the other. You didn't use both. But apparently we're using milk and formula. So let's get the milk. Oh my gosh, I'm quite messy with this. And now let's add the baby formula in. It's going everywhere. Close the bottle and shake it. Oh yeah, shake it, shake it. Heat the milk bottle. Oh, this game is so easy. There we go. I'm heating it. How do I know when it's done? Maybe this game isn't so easy after all. How do I know? There we go. Temperature's rising. Oh my gosh, it's going to explode. Actually, I'm kind of curious to what happens if it does explode. So I'm going to make it happen. It blew up. Well, that's not a very safe thing to have in your house, is it? This time, I'm not going to let the milk explode. I'm going to do it properly. So let's just heat the milk and keep it at nice temperature where we don't break the equipment. There we go. The milk is ready. Make the baby burp. Oh yes, babies get very gassy. So you have to manually burp them. I know, it's kind of gross. Oh, but why was the burp made of love hearts? It makes no sense. Oh, look, he's going to sleep. We have to swing the cradle gently. There we go. Oh my, God, I'm so tired right now. I'm going to fall to sleep. Wait, no, I can't fall to sleep. I have to look after this virtual baby. And there's some kind of baby obstacle course that we have to make it through. Okay, we're going to crawl to mom. Start off now, little baby. You can do it. Can we actually do this in one? I wonder. Oh my, I think we're a professional baby. Maybe I'm not a professional baby. I just got the baby run over. I thought I'd done it. And then at the end, the truck came out of nowhere. We have to time this right. Because I don't want a repeat of last time. Let's go. Okay, I think we can make it past the blue aeroplane. And can we make it past the truck now? I think we can. Yes, we did it. Help baby to walk. But how? How do I help you? Also... He's growing so fast. It was only a few levels ago that he was born. Okay, do I just drag the baby forward? Oh, I do. Come on, little guy, you can do it. I'm gonna teach you how to walk. There we go. Come on. I just have to keep dragging his arm until he does. Our baby can now walk. I'm so proud. But that's not how you teach a real baby to walk, by the way. You don't just drag them along the ground. Don't do that. Take out the toy. What do you mean take out the toy? Does the baby have a toy stuffed up its nose? Oh my gosh, he does. That is so gross. What is that? I'm pulling it out. It's a little soldier. How did that get in there? I can thankfully say I've never had to do that to anyone. And I hope I never do. Are you okay, little dude? Oh, and now we're checking his temperature. I don't know what the right temperature is for a baby. But apparently it's 97, so you learn something new every day, especially on the Yami channel. So if you're not subscribed, you should totally do that because we learn pointless facts like how warm a virtual baby should be. Oh my goodness, look at him. He's all grown up. It's his second birthday and he has a cake that's almost bigger than himself. I have to respect that. He has to blow out the candles. So I'm guessing I just click the candles. Oh, and land it on the green. There we go. It's the best part of any party. We get to play the party game. So we have to pop these balloons. How though? Why am I so terrible at this? Do I have to swipe really hard? <gasps> that went flying. Maybe not so hard this time. There we go. Come on, why am I so bad at this? <laughs> I managed to do it in the end, but it took me about 20 darts. Can you jump that ramp? Is that safe to do? 
Crash, you have to trust me. Even though your name is Crash, I'm not going to let you crash, okay? Let's go for it. Here we go. Can we make it across? Oh, we did quite well. So there we have it. That is how you raise a baby according to Welcome Baby 3D. I'm going to leave it here, guys. But if you want to see me play more of this game, let me know down in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you want to watch another video of mine, you can click here and let's go watch it together.